The second topic is the first order elimination rate, right? a little bit easier than the zero order. The constant thinks also you have two constants in case of first order kinetics. You have to know that you have life here is constant, which is the opposite of zero order kinetics. And the other thing which is confusing about this constant is a fraction of the drug being eliminated is constant. And also, finally, you will have variable. So what's left, which is variable or, fi or not fixed, which is elimination rate. Here, the elimination rate is not fixed as the zero order kinetics or the zero order elimination. Again, let's take this example. If you will give 80 milligram of the drug, after one hour will be what will be 40 it will not be 70 60 50 like the zero order kinetic it will be 40 why 40 it is a fraction of the drug that mean part of the half part of the drug being eliminated so the drug was 80 lead the drug of 80 half of the drug being eliminated reached to 40 that's that's it this is the t half life of the drug Another example, just to make sure that you understand this concept, if I will give 100 milligram of the drug, also the constant fraction, which is half, the constant fraction, which is half, will be lead now to 50. If I will give 1000 milligram of the drug, also the same, the constant fraction, which is half of 1500. So half of 80 is 40, half of 100 is 50, and half of 1000 is 500. That's mean here all of these things is half of the drug being eliminated, half equal to fraction and equal to constant. Okay, equal to constant, which is the fraction of the drug being eliminated. If you need to, rem if you need to calculate with me the hours, it is, you know, just just one hour, one one here, one here. After one hour, will become forty. After one hour, will become fifty. After one hour, will become five hundred, or any hour, any hour according to according to the question. So here, the t half life of the drug being fixed or constant, because it's 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 easy. Just half of the drug being eliminated within the next few hours according to the the hours for t half life being eliminated i hope you got you understand this idea now very well a little bit if i want to confuse you in the other example which is zero order kinetic if you will give 80 remember please in this is in zero order just to make sure that you got the idea in zero order 80 lead to 70 lead to 60 that's mean 10 milligram, which was the amount being fixed, okay, the amount was fixed in case of zero order kinetics, while the fraction being fixed, which is the half, half is not amount, half is not amount, here the amount of the drug 40, while in the second example amount of the drug 50, in the third example amount of the drug 500, so here the amount is not changed, is not fixed, here the amount is not fixed while the fraction which is the half of the drug here half here half here is fixed i hope you get understand this idea very well how about the elimination rate in case of first order kinetics elimination rate in this case the curve will be exponential what i mean by the care by exponential curve when you will give the drug first the drugs in its maximum dose let us say 20 units so again this is the y axis is the unit of the drug and the the x axis is the time so when you will give the drug in its maximum units and then the the drug after few hours will be 15 and after a few hours will lead to the lead to the lowest dose of the drug will be 10 units how about how about the elimination rate here when the drug in its maximum dose elimination rate will be five unit per what per hour when the drug reach in its middle dose or yes middle concentration the elimination rate will be what decreased to 2.5 unit per hour 
and when the drug reach to its lowest lowest concentrations elimination rate will be one five unit per hour that's that's what you understand from the elimination rate elimination rate will decrease so elimination rate will decrease okay this is the elimination rate will decrease as the dose of the drug being decreased in the body when you will give a patient 20 milligram of the drug or 20 units of the drug now the elimination rate will be five units and after 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 let us say five hours the elimination the drug dose will be 15 in the blood or the amount of the drug in the blood will be 15 in case of 15 the elimination rate will be 2.5 unit per hour and after this another five hours the, the drugs will reach to its lowest level which is 10 the elimination rate in this in this case will be 1.5 unit per hour so what you understand from this the elimination rate will change or will decrease as the drug level in the blood decrease over a certain period of time while i will confuse you now while in case of zero order kinetics the curve was in zero order kinetic let us see yeah, i will in, in case of zero order kinetics the case while well, the curve was linear when you uh, the drugs in its maximum dose first 20 20 was uh, and then 15 the same concentration and then 10 for all of these the rate elimination rate was five unit per hour was not changed and i told you elimination rate is the same as Vmax is the same as saturation kinetics so these three words for elimination rates are constant in case of first order elimination rate while zero while in case of first in case of sorry zero order elimination rate while in case of first order elimination rate the elimination rate is changing according to the time and the dose of the drug okay which are the drugs which follow first order elimination rate? Basically all drugs. Not like just phenytoin, aspirin, or just like high doses of phenytoin, ethanol, aspirin in case of zero order kinetics.